Six Ways to Handle a Disloyal Person This is Law of Attraction Secrets. Join Miracle Mentor and Alchemy Life Coach Robert Sink and prepare to be empowered. Hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever time you're listening to this special Law of Attraction podcast, I am your miracle mentor, your mentor of light, Robert Zink. And today I have a special announcement. As of January 2019, January 1st, live, we will draw the name of one subscriber, and that subscriber will win an entire year of miracle mentoring and alchemy life coaching. And we will document this person's progress throughout the entire year. You're going to see exactly how the law of attraction works in this person's life. And I, I believe you're going to be astonished. Anyway, that person could be you. So make certain that you are subscribing. Six ways to handle a disloyal person. Oh, there's nothing worse. I've been through this. I have been through this. And uh, trust me, it is not fun. It is not pleasant because you lie in bed at night and you think how much you love this person or you cared about this person or you were friends with this person or how much you did for this person or how much you taught this person or gave of yourself only to have them stab you in the back or betray you. It's a very negative feeling and you need to get yourself out of that negative vibration as quickly as possible and move on with your life or your business or your relationship, whatever it may be, because there's disloyalty in on all three, okay? Friends, relatives, yeah, even relatives, even relatives. Can you believe that? If there's money involved, sometimes relatives will choose money over love. And it's it just I've been there. It's, it's absolutely devastating, but it happens. So here you go. And I think this will help you. Number one, you've got to stop lying to yourself about someone. I know you're making excuses for them and you're telling yourself that, well, maybe it isn't true, but you've got evidence. You've seen the facts. You have seen repetitively how they have behaved. In crunch time situations, they always choose other people. They have been disloyal to you. And ask yourself, does this person's behavior now fit with my mission and purpose in life? I have a mission and purpose in life. So if you've been in a relationship or you're in a relationship where there's disloyalty, I think that's the first question you need to ask. Okay, you can say, I'd like them to change. Nice. Great idea. And they might. And I believe people can change. But you have to ask yourself, if they did it once, aren't they likely to do it twice? Three times? Four times? So ask yourself, does this person's behavior fit with your mission and purpose? And sometimes a person's behavior can fit with your mission and purpose for one year, two years, 10 years, 20 years, but all of a sudden their behavior no longer fits with your mission and purpose in life, with where you are taking your life. So don't lie to yourself about someone. If they're cheating on you, they're cheating on you. Don't make excuses. They're cheating on you. They're breaking their word. It's not just cheating. That sounds like it's kind of cool, doesn't it? Hey, I'm cheating. I'm getting away. You know, don't, don't lie to yourself. They're breaking their word. They're breaking their bond. If they're an employee and they're stealing money or they're back talking behind you or they're undercutting you, they are hurting you and your dreams and your goals. Stop lying to yourself. You got to get truthful. And you may need professional help to help you get truthful. 
You may need somebody to get right in your face, a good mentor that will get flat in your face and say, "Mm -mm, you're lying to yourself. Number two, don't make snap decisions out of anger or based on secondhand talk. Because you don't know if the secondhand talk is the disloyalty or the disloyal one, or if the person that they are talking about is the disloyal one. So you need to have facts in front of you. And I honestly, I will go to almost any extreme to get the truth, to get the facts, because it's so important before you make a decision, before you make a decision that's going to change your company, change your life, change your marriage, change your relationship, change your friendship, change your family dynamics. It's important to have clear cut facts. So eventually when you do sit down with them, you have the facts in front of you. Number three, if you're going to accuse the disloyal person to their face. And you should, because you never want to put yourself into a position of accusing them behind their back. If you get to that point where you need to accuse them and say, look at you stand accused. You need to have hard, cold facts in front of you. And you need to say, here are the facts. Here are the photographs. Here are the phone records. Here's the evidence that you have been disloyal, that you're no longer moving in the direction of our dreams and goals as a couple or my dreams and goals as a friend or the company's mission statement or purpose as a company. You need to be very clear and you need to accuse them to their face but don't do it with the idea that you're going to pull out information from them because disloyal people are very sharp. They will stick with their lie until their teeth fall out. So listen to me. You better have the facts. You are about to experience a miracle. Claim your free 30 minutes of miracle mentoring and alchemy life coaching. Visit www.lawofattractionsolutions.com. Number four, I think is so important. It's critical. Compare their talk with their walk. They're saying one thing, but what are they showing you? Okay. They say, well, I in a relationship, I love you. I want to help you. I want to take care of you. I want to be with you, but you can't get a hold of them. They don't show up. They don't answer their phone when you need them and they say they're going to come over, they come up with excuses. That's their walk. That's how they're walking. Now they may say something else in their talk, but I don't listen to talk. I look at walk. And number five, explain why you are ending the relationship or firing them or cutting them out of your life. In other words, nobody should have to go through the torment, even if you don't like them. Nobody should have to go through the torment of not knowing because then you look like the bad person. You're the person who just stopped answering the phone. You're the person who blocked them on Facebook and Instagram. You see, you look like the bad person in their eyes and everybody they talked to. Well, I don't know. I don't know what I did. I don't know what I said. I don't know how I hurt this person, but all of a sudden they've cut me out of their life. You see what I'm saying? It, it's, it's very important. And number six, make sure, make certain that you act fairly. And that means if you have property of theirs, if you have property of theirs, give it back. If you owe them money, pay them in full. And if there's any quabble about the money, say you, you say you owe them $20 and they say you owe them 50, 
split the difference and let it go. Get that energy out of your life. You look at you are a combination of your thoughts and your feelings and your vibrations. And you don't need that negative vibe in your life. You don't need it in your relationship. You don't need it in your family. You don't need it around your children. You do not need it in your company. The ancients, if you study the leaders, the great empire builders, both in the Bible and just historical documents and records, the ancients never put up with disloyalty. It was one of the, there were taboos and then there were taboos and there were bad things. And then there were real bad things and disloyalty was considered the worst. It was up there with murder. Do not tolerate disloyal friends. Find new ones. Do not tolerate disloyal employees. Find new ones. Do not tolerate a disloyal mate. Find a new one. Okay. I'm serious. I cannot emphasize this enough because oftentimes these people have a narcissistic belief about themselves that what they are doing is right at some level that being disloyal to you is somehow a special mission or purpose that they have and that they're serving a higher power by doing it, or they're serving a greater good. And it's absolutely asinine and it's ridiculous. And it's not tolerated by high flyers because high flyers got their wings open and they are soaring like beautiful eagles. Thank you for subscribing. Can't wait till January 1st when we give away that free one year of miracle mentoring and alchemy life coaching. I'm so excited. I'm jacked up. Oh yeah. Okay. Have a great day. You absolutely deserve it. Bye-bye now.